What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is extremely hot out here, but I've got a cool video that hopefully will help a lot of people because I wish I would have seen this video before I started doing this. So, if you don't know, if you haven't checked out any of my videos, I do. I just recently got a 2020 Chevy Silverado 1500. I did do a video on the truck. I've got some other videos that are done that are set to come out and some that I'm actually working on right now of doing different stuff to this truck. Uh, I am in the middle of filming a video that I'm not going to get into because you have to wait for the video. Uh, I am planning on putting lights on this truck and I need to go from the pretty much engine bay into the cab. So I need to go through the firewall. Now, generally on an older car, you would just drill a hole somewhere in the firewall, but I don't want to do that. I mean, it's, it's 2020. There's got to be an easier way to do this to where if I took this truck to the factory, the dealership, and wanted them to install some something that needed a wire through the firewall, I feel like they wouldn't just throw a drill bit in a drill and just drill a hole somewhere. I mean, there had to be something easier that the dealership would know what to do so i looked online and could find absolutely nothing nothing on youtube nothing googling it couldn't find anything and then i finally figured it out and i wanted to make a video on it and show you guys hopefully this helps out somebody but i after i finally figured it out i got really excited wanted to do a video so hopefully that this video helps somebody out there so let's show how you get a wire through your firewall in a 2020 chevrolet silverado 1500. all right so this is the truck now i i am in the process of doing this after i finally figured it out i stopped what i was doing so i could do this video but i am in the middle of doing something else on this truck that i'm doing a video on but so i needed to go from when I first started thinking about this, I needed to go from the battery in through the firewall into the cab because what I'm doing, I had planned on hooking to a switch in some way. We're not going to get too into it, but I needed to have a wire from in here and go through the firewall. Now, that thing over there, this is a bunch of wires going through the firewall there. So I got focused on that. So I figured it had, I had to be able to do something there. Let me get a, this guy. And then there, I've got tape over it now, but there's a thing right here that's rubber, just like the rest of this thing that uh, it looked like you could pop the cap off or something and run a wire through there but there ain't no cap. So you had to pretty much cut the tip off of this and put a wire in. So I found that's what I was looking at, wanting to do, thought it was right. So I took some snips and just cut a slit in the end so I could squeeze it and get a wire through. So I did that and I was able to get the wire through, but you can't find it when you push it through. So, I got the wire through there. And then came over and this truck has an enormous amount of crap. Well, not crap. It's all like cool, good stuff. But I mean, there's so much stuff on this truck. I mean, you get down in here and look through here and you can see so much stuff. But I got the wire through the wall but you can't find the wire and you can't get to it because there's so much stuff in here. You couldn't reach it even if you saw it. So I was like, oh crap. So I pulled the wire out and then just kept looking. And I knew I was on the right track, that thing over there. Then I located another one right there. Same exact thing. More wires going through with the same kind of nipple. So, I put a little slit. I did put tape. That's why that thing's got tape over because I cut a slit and I didn't want just anything to be able to run through there. So I just put uh, some electrical tape over that. 
So did the same thing over there. Cut a little slot in the end of it. Yeah, there you go. Cut a little slot in the end of it and pushed a wire through and went through pretty easy. Once I got it going through, came in here, I found it. Hopefully we can see this without a light. But we might need one. Alright, here's my wire. Alright, we're gonna need to. Let me get a light real quick. It's kind of hard to see, but it's like plastic back there against the firewall that like wire band of wires over there is kind of hiding it that's the best we're gonna get but that's where your uh line comes through if you end up pushing your wire through that thing on the passenger side you've got this uh gray box here and you can take this off you, you, I don't think you even have to unplug it. You can just pop this out of here and take this cover off and it's a whole lot easier to see. But if you just take your, uh, after you cut the slit and the nipple over there and push your wire through, you'll be able to see it real easy. It's just right there. You'll be able to stick your hand in there and grab a hold to it and pull it through. So that is pretty much how you get a power line or any kind of wire through your firewall in a 2020 Chevrolet Silverado and this the 2019 should be the identical same thing so 2019 and 2020 Chevy Silverado that's how you get to through the firewall or the best way now I I have to go over here with this line so if anybody has gotten a line through that nipple over there that'd be a whole lot easier but for me it seemed like this is the easiest thing to do so I got my wire through here I have to go over there. I'm not going to talk about where I'm going to go. I just have to go over there. Uh, if I've got the new video on what I'm actually doing here, you'll be able to see in that video. But I do have to go over there. So we're going to have to run this line over here. And the thing to do is this piece here, you can just grab a hold of this. And it's got, uh, I think, either like six or eight of those little clip, plastic clip things. This piece just pops off. Then you've got uh, the bottom piece over there. Ooh, it's hot. Got a little screw in there. So you just take the screw out. Once you've got the screw, that piece also just pops off from clips. So you can get total access to run a line through there. So then you can just take your uh, wire run it through there and go wherever you need to go, whatever switch, or if you're installing a switch, you can bring it over here and then just put your pieces back. And that's, that's pretty much it. Yep, so that is how you get a power wire through the firewall on a 2019, 2020 Chevy Silverado 1500. And the, don't quote me, but the 2500 and 3500, I would imagine would be the same type deal, but I don't know for sure, but if you've got a 1500, 2019, 2020, that's how you do it. The easiest way to do it. Don't have to drill any holes or anything. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If this helped you be sh and you're doing something like this, be sure to let me know because I wish I would have seen this video before I started doing this. Hopefully this helps some of y'all out, even just one person. It's a whole lot easier just knowing that's the way it's supposed to go. So if you like this video, and especially if this video did help you out, be sure to smash that like button. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you're seeing this video, I probably haven't posted the video of what I'm actually filming on right now. So keep an eye on that. Be sure to get subscribed to the channel so you see all the videos I'm doing. I am currently doing a lot of videos on this truck. I do do a lot of videos on other topics on my truck, a lot of how to or how I did it DIY type stuff. Uh, so be sure to check out all the videos on my channel. Be sure to get subscribed. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.